Okay, so walk around this uh, e-registration. So either 1987 or 88, I think it's an 88 in fairness. Um, Land Rover 90, county station wagon, original factory V8. Um, so the, at the time, I suppose, the ultimate, um, the ultimate 90. Uh, really nice original low mileage vehicle. This one is showing uh, 79,000 miles. Um, from the way it drives, I would think that probably is not far wrong. Um, and so very, very original all round. So you can expect sort of slightly tired paint, but it's very dent free. It looks like it's led a very sheltered life. Um, but all correct. I think the only thing that isn't on there anymore is the side steps, which uh, counties generally have. But as they, um, they always rust and come apart anyway, it's probably no bad thing it hasn't got them. It's got a matching set of uh, Michelin 205 16 tyres on the original steel rims. Uh, it's got headlamp wash, the original factory steering guard. It's got a pair of um, extra lamps on the front, although I can't see how they're wired in. They do appear to be, but I can't seem to make them work, so uh, assume they're not functioning. But otherwise, proper county. It's got all the tinted glass, the full seven-seat interior with the four individual folding rear seats, all in cloth. The interior's all lasted very nicely. It's got tow pack on it. Um, that really is about it. Anyway, let's go around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. As I say, the paint is generally very original. So um, it has been sort of touched in in one or two areas. And of course, being white, it shows every mark. But as I say, it's very, very dent free around the front end. Looks very nice all around here. Bonnet's all good. No one stood on it by the look of it. Uh, wings are all nice. Front panel's all good. Down the near side, um, very straight and correct down there. There's a couple of very, very tiny parking dinks just in the front of the near side front wing just there, but really, really, really minor. Certainly not worth worrying about. Um, near side front wing and eyebrow are all as you'd expect for uh, a 23, 24 year old one. Um, up here on the scuttle above the vent, it's all very, 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 very good in here and below below the vent, it's all very good as well. Has obviously had some work and a bit untidy, shall we say, around the uh, the near side, um, near side scuttle corner. Could have been painted a bit better, um, but it all feels pretty solid, shall we say. But uh, just say, just a slightly uh, untidy job has been made of that but it does look as if it's um proper metal in there looks like it anyway um near side door a lot of electrolytic reaction as usual on the doors including one big area of paint loss just up here under the mirror which is uh, not uncommon a few other bits of electrolytic reaction there and again on the bottom of on the the door bottom there's quite a bit of electrolytic reaction and paint loss along there modesty covers are all good um the door, the passenger door, looks like it's a slightly different colour. The driver's doors are the same. They're not. I think it's just possibly a bit of lacquer that's, um, uh, that, that's come off or something on them. But uh, um, they're not a different colour at all. It's just, uh, well, I know they look as if they are, but I don't think it's ever had paint in comparison to the rest of it. I think it's just, say, just uh, a different sort of lacquer on there. Anyway, um, let's have a look inside. Um, the whole county interior has lasted really well, which... Um, Makes me think that the mileage probably is correct because the, the carpets are all still in place, drivers and front passengers. Uh, seats are all nice, rear seats are all good and the rear carpet's all there. It's clean enough but it could possibly do with the valet because it has had a dog in the back and there are some dog hairs on the carpet which we can't get out without um, a proper valet so you might want to do that. But all the headline is good, all the county trim's all there. It's one of the most well preserved county interiors I've seen for a long time actually and that uh, everything is still as it should be. Very nice. Um, the original radio's there, I can even hear the clock ticking. Door frames. Um, front passenger door frame is spot on on the bottom of it. That's really good actually. Not bad at all. Nothing to worry about there and there's no sort of real lateral movement in it. It shuts nicely. Um, near side rear wing is all good. Near side window panel's all good. Obviously the tub top trim has been uh, probably been field here is always always tends to get a hole in it just there and it looks a bit rough and it's been painted so um, it may well have uh, had a bit of a bit of body work on the tub top trim there but that's not unusual most of them seem to have um, some reaction on the on the uh, the rear corner trims and stuff like that as usual and there's quite a lot of reaction around the rear end on the tailgate along the bottom here and up here but uh, again shows its originality same on the other side um, behind the spare wheel and stuff Rear cross member looks like it's had a couple of plates put in it. Um, I can certainly count at least two there. Um, but they all look to be nice and solid and uh, correct and as they should be. Um, in the back here, as I say, the rear, rear compartment's all really, really nice. Um, 
all exact as it should be and all exact as it left the factory uh, 23, 24 or so years ago. Um, rear tailgate frame on the bottom here is very good indeed. That's really excellent, I like that. Uh, what else have we got? Um, looking down the offside, um, same story with the door on the offside. It, it just looks a slightly different colour, but it isn't. I think it's just the lacquer on the um, on the doors that's uh, perhaps not so much on the um, on the wings and on the front and rear wings. I don't know, but it's certainly the original doors on it. Perhaps the paint's just faded in a slightly different way. Um, Offside rear wing, again, some electrolytic reaction around the rear corners there. Uh, and again, the, um, the tub top trim looks like it's been, um, had some paint work on it and stuff up, uh, up on the join as they, uh, they always tend to have. Uh, but otherwise, pretty much the same story as the left hand side, almost identical reaction on the base of the driver's door. Big section of um, paint loss up here that has actually been painted over. So there's a bit of paint been done there. Uh, again, could have been a slightly better job, but um, which people leave things alone really um, and some reaction up here and stuff like that uh, but the scuffle corner on the driver's side is, is much better it has had a bit of work up here but um, that all looks pretty solid and correct some paint loss on the hinge um, but uh, again the up, up around here it all looks very good no problems there at all so I think this probably is a genuine 78 79,000 mile car really uh, a posts are all good and inside here on the driver's side uh, again, the carpets are in first class, in very good order. Um, driver's seat's all nice. Uh, driver's door frame, probably has seen better days. Yeah, it's hold along the back edge here. But around the front edge, it's not too bad. It's still got a little bit of life left in that, actually. And it's not moving on the hinge or anything. Still fairly strong, but I think probably in uh, two or three years' time, you'd need to have that repaired or replaced. Um, but it does shut nicely enough. It doesn't sag or anything. That's about it, I think. My name's Simon. You can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352 or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk. Uh, we take Visa and MasterCard credit cards and debit cards, 2% surcharge for credit cards. We take part exchanges. We can ship it anywhere you like in the world. That's about it. End.